All right, the end of another whippy, boring day in the market. And again, I have to say that uh, I attribute this to the non-farm payroll uh, report coming out on Friday, and we're going into a long weekend, so it looks like nobody's really taking a position. And a lot of people are probably uh, already gone on vacation. Kids' schools have ended, and, and uh, yeah, yeah, everybody's breaking out from the uh, pandemic, and, and it looks like the party is on. So here's the daily bar on the, um, on the S&P. And uh, looked rather negative all day. We had this do doji, and it looked like um, we were we, we were going to um, start consolidating. And this was an inside bar um, favoring uh, the bearish side or favoring the uh, downside. And um, it just seemed like we were moving into the consolidation. And then, hey, the heavy hitters stepped in at the end of the day, pushed this baby up, made another high, and just continues the trend on the way up. Um, so, you, you know, the market, that can't be stopped. I mean, really... Um, my general philosophy is I'm buying on dips in this market. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, and I mean, I'm not even going to go through the 60 because this is just uh, positive. So this is going to be a pretty brief market wrap. Um, let's look at BB for the day. And eh, it's just not doing anything, man. Just uh, whipping around. Uh, momentum is negative. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't even recall looking at the S&P 500 momentum on the daily. Oh, look at that daily momentum. It's just building 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 kind of eating up that divergence well that's a pretty big move that, that from this high to that high so I'd like to see some consolidation and then um, a move up on that um, we already decided that BB was just a bore here's some clove for all you clove fanatics and just a flattening momentum nothing really happening um, on clove and then uh, AMC AMC, the momentum is fading. And hey, I heard, um, I can't confirm it, and I'm working on confirming it, um, but I heard some scary news uh, that um, um, hedge funds have taken um, convertible debt and went uh, kind of neutral, delta neutral on their position. Um, so if, it's, if it does um, raise up or, or appreciate in price, they're not getting hurt. So this, this we, y I haven't confirmed this yet. Um, and, and I just heard the article about the article, and then it seems like the links keep getting de uh, deleted. So there could be somebody out there trying to um, um, create a scare and, and, and knock the longs out. But if this is the case, if you can confirm that um, they did um, hedge their short um, and went, in essence, delta neutral, um, this just changes the whole game plan. So. Um, basically, if, if, you, you know, you got into an idea, and if your idea breaks, you need to get out of the, uh, get out of the situation. But again, I can't say that this is the case because I can't confirm that it's happening. So if anybody uh, listening out there has some information on that, I'd appreciate it if you could drop it in the comments. Um, or if you want to uh, chat tomorrow, um, I go live every morning at 9 o'clock, and, uh, you, you know, we could chat and, and talk about it. If you could share some information, that'd be cool. Um, so if you appreciate what I'm doing here, um, do me a favor and uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I come up. I'm also trading uh, off the grid, so yeah, you know my stream drops. So if you hit the bell, you know when I get everything um, up and running. Uh, one of the uh, drawbacks of trading on the back of a sailboat. Um, and uh, hit the likes because that goes a long way. And if you want to support the channel, there's a link uh, to a PayPal account, and you could support the channel, and we'd appreciate that. So. Um, Anyway, that's the end of uh, the day and the uh, market wrap, and it's hot as all get out over here. So I wish you all a good day and good luck trading.